Welcome parents, families, and friends who are joining us. We thank all of the hardworking staff and the volunteers and all the alumni of the college. And that this day and this college would not have been possible without you. Graduates of the class of 2019, congratulations. You've earned that acknowledgement for your passion, your intellect, and the concerns for the world, your audacity to stand for and with one another, and your sheer determination to own your education. You have helped make a new Antioch possible. Those who have gone first in imagining and building a college that despite its long history has not existed in this way before you and has never been needed in the world perhaps more than it is needed now. Class of 2019, you have our optimism and our confidence. Your preparation at Antioch positions you as part of a lineage of Nobel laureates, MacArthur Fellows, Fulbright Scholars, and leaders in so many fields. Now we look to you for ideas, the inspiration and the actions that will change our communities and our planet, making our world healthier, safer, and more just more meaningful and more abundant. Come back to Antioch, come back often, and we hope even when you cannot, you will keep Antioch close in your hearts. Congratulations, class of 2019. Antioch College, your college, takes pride in each of you. Class of 2019, may you be the recipients of grace in the next season of your journey. And Antiochians, may we consider grace in our deliberation our interactions, and even in our activism. This grace will give you power over fear, justice over injustice, liberation over bondage, equity over oppression, love over hate, and hate over despair. This is what I wish for you, the ability to hope, the grace to hope. And considering the conditions of our world, it would be easy to lose hope. But hope is on the way. The class of 2019 is on the way. Hope over despair is what I wish for you. Peace, light, and love, Ashe. Hearing you speak and seeing you move into the world beyond the college, that's the big psychic reward for the work we do. I wish you joy in return, not only the bittersweet joy of this day, but the minor everyday joys I hope you will learn to find throughout your life. Emma Goldman, the great anarchist, activist, and writer said, if I can't dance, I don't want to be part of your revolution. <laughs> Good words to live by. One could say Antioch is a social experiment, a microcosm of current cultural crises, a movement towards liberation of the parts of ourselves that have been denied or turned away from in the shared struggles of our time. Arthur Morgan said, school ought to emphasize the joy of living. I have learned that to get to the joy, we must be present with all of ourselves, particularly in the challenging moments. Establishing myself here took time and tears and years. Being an Antiochian requires fierce determination and courage, adaptability, and resourcefulness. Acknowledging the inherent changeability of life affords us the perspective to be active participants in world affairs, our cultures, and our own lives in a way that we do not take things for granted. With guidance from faculty, staff and students we've built relationships with. Those relationships aren't closing, they aren't ending, they're transforming. I don't know if I've ever shared this story, but when I embarked on my ENIAC journey, I didn't understand what I was signing up for. I was new to this country. My parents were scared to let me leave New York to come to Ohio, because they had never heard of Ohio before. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know that this was the beginning of my love-hate relationship with this place. I stand here today with you and look back at my ENIAC experience. I see happiness, pain, growth, and things in between. I see things that made me want to leave and the things that made me stay, or should I say the people that made me stay. 
And that is because my professors were always enthusiastic to teach me new things, to get to know me, to talk about how my day went, or to just get to you know, understand what my experience is here. And I'm extremely grateful for all you've done for me. Though all I've mentioned so far have been great experiences, I would like to underline that I struggled a lot over the past four years. When I look back at my ENIAC experience, I believe it could have been better. I believe ENIAC will make great efforts to support students that are first generation students, immigrant students, students of color, LGBTQ students, and students with learning disabilities. I believe this is the vision we should aim for. Despite all the downfalls I experienced, I stayed because I heard I know ENIAC has the potential to do better and will do better if we work together to walk our talk. <laughs> and my message to all of you is that I know that the education we got from ENIAC will not let us sit and watch the world burn. Because the class of 2019 is graduating but not retiring. <laughs> the class of 2019, you are finally right here. How does it feel? Have you checked in? Have you given it your full thought, your full attention of what you have just experienced? Not only the moments that you don't remember because they were so fleeting, but the fleeting moments that will ultimately be sustained. Do you and have you started recognizing them? There have been many people before you that have attended classes and made friends and memories and have been challenged and thirsting and pressing in for their knowledge, doing many of the things that you have already done, learning from the same teachers, the same books, the same curricula, and they themselves have also thrived. See, many people have been in your seats. There has been none that are like you, so ready to solve our most intricate human problems, those that involve social justice, equity, and parity, to access and to address the problems that have to be first assessed through the many prisms of understanding in which you only, you only can see. For those of you who have the uniqueness of being raised with the less of life, understanding that the state of your wanting is your wanting. It is in that prism of what you believe is lack is where the betterness, the goodness of your reflection is. That you know that there are lessons in that poverty, that your very goodness comes from the very hands that have cared for you and that corrected you and now embolden you to move forth. You know your degree, therefore, is not yours, but it is the whole's. You are our shared success, a shared pride, a shared celebration that we know will disrupt the grips of intersectionality. So dare, graduates, to use your prism, use your experiences, dare to be exactly who you are and what you are made to be. Your perspective is needed. And as you are learning yourself and others, start daring yourself in those moments to be more of who you are made to be. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2019.